one year anniversary and they're doing it all weekend long. KMBC Nice Jackson Kurtz live from the National World War One Museum and Memorial where the local group Stand With Ukraine held a fundraiser for victims of the war. Jackson. Yeah, the fundraiser happened just inside. This is just the beginning of events this weekend, remembering folks whose lives were impacted this last year, last year, and just the world that changed upside down for them. It is very important not only for us, but the Ukrainian community to come together, kind of have a moment of silence and kind of acknowledge uh, the Ukrainian resistance. One year of Ukrainian resilience. A lot of people were looking at this a David Goliath kind of situation. And there was a multiple renowned world experts that said, you know, Ukraine is going to collapse within a few weeks, if not more, if not sooner, right? But that has not happened. The strength of a nation being celebrated in Kansas City with flowers, music, and art. Obviously symbolizes danger and fight. The wheat is fruit and sunflower is hope. For a lot of Ukrainians in KC, family and friends are still persevering in the war-torn country. It was really hard to get the money right away because for some reason, it was hard. It was just like, in the beginning, nobody knew what they were doing. This situation is very fluid and, you know, one day they could be doing okay, but the second day they don't have like electricity or water or things of that nature. <laughs> Many believe the fighting spirit will last until the war is done. And I really hope that like 20 years from now, we will be able to even call our relatives that are in Russia. Hey! And same with Ukraine, we'll have a rally tomorrow on the plaza. They're going to have 365 posters marking each day of the war in Ukraine. Live in Kansas City, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News.